Raven Ridge. AMD's upcoming APUs that utilize their Vega GPU and Zen CPU architectures have gotten some performance leaks, and it's unbelievable. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Mode. AMD has been pretty well known for their APUs for a while now, an integrated system on a chip that allows for inexpensive small form factor components that tend to work very well in notebooks or even small desktops. Well, AMD has been touting their upcoming Raven Ridge generation of APUs that integrates both their newest CPU and GPU architectures. And finally, some new information is beginning to surface. Just a few days ago, HP listed their first Raven Ridge powered laptop, and just a day later, some very interesting benchmarks came to light on 3D Mark. It included two of AMD's upcoming APUs, which is what we'll be discussing today. The two chips that leaked are the Ryzen 7 2700U and the Ryzen 5 2500U. And oh my, are the results promising. But before we move into some comparisons and discussion, keep in mind that Intel's newest notebook CPUs have doubled in core and thread count from previous models, which only went as high as two cores and four threads. Now because these newest components are running off the same 14 nanometer process as Intel's last generation, it actually has much lower clocks to keep the power requirements the same, given these have two extra cores. With that said, they do have higher boost clocks. Either way, this is an obvious response to AMD's Raven Ridge. The question is whether it'll be enough. Well from what we've got so far, I'd say probably not. PC Per actually have a couple laptops fitted with the newest i7-8550U, and the results are interesting. When comparing these leaked benchmarks with PC Per's benchmarks, you can see the Ryzen 7 2700U nearly matches the physics score of the ZenBook 3, but handily loses to the HP Spectre. PC Per chalks this up to the overhead allowed on the Spectre for those boost speeds to raise performance pretty dramatically. Because we don't really know the cooling or overclock capability of the Ryzen 7 2700U, we can't crown a winner just off of this. But there's definitely one thing that's obvious. Raven Ridge annihilates Intel's integrated 620 graphics that comes with the 8550U. We're talking well over double the performance. Even the Ryzen 5 2500U spanks Intel's integrated graphics. You can actually see that the upcoming Ryzen 7 2700U's integrated GPU nearly matches the speed of Nvidia's new MX150, which for those who don't know is actually a discrete graphics card. For reference, the MX150 is capable of playing esports games at very reasonable settings and with great FPS. It can even play some modern games on low settings or lower resolution. But don't forget, the MX150 is a discrete mobile GPU while Raven Ridge is integrated, with what's expected to be very low power requirements and a low profile to fit into some tight spaces. I think the only question left is what the CPU is capable of and whether it can match Intel's newest with double the cores of their past. If anything, I think this shows very thin laptops with low thermal dissipation will probably look great for AMD, and with AMD's GPU, there seems to be no contest. The ultimate answer will more than likely come down to price, but given AMD's incredible pricing on their CPUs, here's to hoping they knock it out of the water. So what do you think of AMD's upcoming APUs so far? Are you excited to have what looks to be a very good mobile chip for esports on the go? Or are you more concerned with what the CPU is capable of? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.